making some stuffed schnitzel. I think I'm gonna make some plain schnitzel too, but I'm gonna use up all of this meat and then um, hopefully have enough for two days. So here is the pork loin cut up and I'm going to tenderize it. So here they are all tenderized and I'm going to season them. I had mixed up garlic, black pepper and a little bit of salt. You don't wanna go heavily on salt because I will be stuffing the schnitzel with some prosciutto, which is salty enough. So now I'm going to stuff the schnitzel. I have soft cheese and some uh, prosciutto. So I got my breading set up, so I got flour, eggs and breadcrumbs and I'm going to dip it obviously first in flour, then in egg and then in breadcrumbs. The schnitzels are all done and breaded, now they're gonna go in a deep fryer. Unfortunately that is probably the only way to do it right. So I have uh, prepared a salad, I'm just going to add the dressing, there's tomatoes, onion and uh, cucumber with some romaine lettuce. I would have preferred to have red onion but I don't have any so white yellow will have to do. I'm adding the Greek feta and I'm also going to sprinkle some of this feta on it. And I'm going to prepare sauce for the schnitzel, it's kind of like tartar sauce so I will need capers, Dijon mustard. I have whipped dressing, um, but I prefer mayo, but this is what I have right now. And then some fresh dill. Here it is, all mixed up, and I just use my handheld little blender to blend it all up. I bought this giant bag of french fries at Costco, just as a backup if I run out of potatoes. So, and because it can be in the freezer, and we're just making some fries in an air fryer. This is my comfort food. Here is dinner. And I put a little bit of peaches on the side as well. 